Now, we then went up and said, okay, we want communication change and learning, all those three things in a new level. So we have those three levels where we said, well, informing doesn't really change anyone. We talk about behavior change and transformation, not just about informing someone, hey, uh, this is different now. Then if you get more commitment, of course, if you involve people, if they have the chance to, to have your way of thinking, uh, not in terms of copying it, but to understand why are they doing this? Where are they going to? Who is in there? We often call the typical change management approach, the setup of a horror movie. Yeah, everything's dark and sometimes you hear something, sometimes you see someone popping up and it is a horror movie. And what we try to do here is we, we turn on the light. So all our project went in an enterprise social network. So we did that very transparent and had people uh, being part of all that journey. And if you achieve that in the, next, in the third level, and that's to activate people. If you want behavior change, it's not enough to inform or to say, well, have a little finger on the steering wheel, but really activate people, let them create that learning content. Rethink the roles of a trainer and someone who's learning something. Let's make them the trainers or let's make them, let's create a sharing culture. And if you have tools that support that, that you have valid content, which is approved and, and you have also the dynamic content, then you will gain from the, from the structured approach and you will gain from the network approach.